guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 11 of your fossil advent calendar. So for today's episode I'm gonna be doing it on ichthyosaurs. So yes, I had to wear the t-shirt, it's just mandatory really. But um, ichthyosaurs, they're not dinosaurs but they are marine reptiles but they lived alongside dinosaurs. Bit of a confusing one, but they could get up to about, they could grow over 13 meters long. Like these were big creatures and they can be found in Lyme Regis. I'm sure a lot of you may know. I've got a picture of one behind me because I'm just a massive fan. I can pull it off. One day I will find my own. So it looks like this. I will insert some awesome pictures of other ones that people have found and also Mary Anning was the first person to actually correctly identify the ichthyosaur, which is pretty cool. And some of her specimens are in the Natural History Museum in London if you'd like to go and see any of them. But ichthyosaurs, they came into existence about 250 million years ago during the early Triassic period and then they did unfortunately go extinct. I say unfortunately, they were 13 meter long reptiles. Not sure it's that unfortunate, but they did go extinct about 90 million years ago in the Cretaceous period, but they were incredible creatures. So if you haven't seen one before, they have about 150 teeth on them. Like they were scary creatures, but uh, pretty awesome to find as a fossil, I think. So as I unfortunately don't have a specimen to show you guys yet, um, I'll insert some pictures and talk you through some of the previous ones that have been found because they are really amazing to look at and I do recommend going to visit some museums that have some specimens because they're just incredible to look at and think, wow, this actually used to exist, I think anyway. But um, let's get to it. Here we have the head of the ichthyosaur that Mary Anning found in the 19th century. So we can see that the eye here, it's almost like a donut shape and that's because these ichthyosaurs needed these large eyes to see in the dim ocean depths. And then this is a complete ichthyosaur that Mary Anning also found. Um, so this is one of the major discoveries of paleontology and this can be seen in the Natural History Museum in London if you'd like to see these specimens. Now this is another specimen I found online that I thought was just really coolly preserved. I don't think coolly is actually a word but I decided to say it anyway. And the, then these are artist impressions of what these creatures actually look like. So they're kind of like a mix between a dolphin and a crocodile, so kind of very creepy creatures. But uh, they would eat like squids and uh, ammonites sadly, but um, yeah, so that's just a little bit of a background on ichthyosaurs. So that's all I got for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. I'll link all my social media down below if you'd like to see even more fossil related content. But I hope you're loving the series and I hope you'll join me for tomorrow. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. P.S. I thought I should just mention apologies for the wet hair. I know it's not super professional of me, but uh, I thought it would be dry by now and uh, I kind of allocate time slots to film these and so it just had to be wet, but I think my 10 exams are getting to me because I decided to cut my own hair yesterday. So um, I think I think it went okay. With curly hair, luckily, it hides a lot of sins. But um, yeah, I'm definitely going through an early midlife crisis by the sounds of it, but I'm actually fine. Like, only three exams left. I've done seven, so I can see the finish line, and we're so close to Christmas. I'm just so excited. Anyway, I'm going to properly end the video now. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.